Welcome back to Upper Michigan today. We are talking now about going on a negative media diet. So that means watch more Upper Michigan today because it's <laughs> exactly. awesome, right? That's right. We eat pumpkin tarts. That's right. <laughs> That's right. But what does well, that I didn't really what it actually mean. mean. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, in many ways it does mean that. I mean, it's it's about connecting with the local. It's about connecting with your community. So, um, when we think about some of the things that we can do, a lot of the tips that you'll read uh, about, you know, distancing yourself from the toxic polarization that's out there are the same kinds of things that you would do if you were just reducing screen time. Sure. You know, take your phone, put it off to the side. Turn off the notifications, especially like on your news apps. Don't let them bother you. Don't let them poke mm -hmm. at you throughout the day. And that's going to be whittling away at your peace of mind. It's going to be driving up your anxiety levels. You yeah. know, just give that screen time a space. And it's good for you in general, yeah. right? We know that for other reasons as well. So there's that. But then there's also, like we mentioned a little bit earlier, trying to find uh, uh, ways of engaging with uh, news that is across the you know the spectrum of, of ideas. So I do encourage people to to read their local newspaper, you know, engage with their local television station and radio stations, and you know because that's the news that's going to most affect your lives day in and day out, right? That's where where we live. We live where our feet are, right? Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and so we have to remember that that the national and the global stuff is important. It's not to dismiss that, but we where we live our lives is where the news really most impacts us, the, you know, it, it directly. So then the other thing, though, is there are tools available to, like, apps, um, Straight Arrow News, there's All Sides, um, there's Clear Politics, there's a lot of media bias charts. Uh, if you go into some of these apps, they'll actually uh, curate the news in a way that they show you a topic, and then they provide the different news outlets rated on whether they're, they tend to be, like, far left, far right, center left, center right, center, you know, those kinds mm -hmm. of things. And then you can read for yourself across the political spectrum to garner what is not only, you know, the, the facts that are common between all of these different outlets on a particular topic, but then the range of opinion that is also, you know, the interpretive side that is always there, you know, in, in, sure. in discerning what's going on in our country. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's important where, where you get your information and um, how it... Uh, is being delivered, yeah. I, yeah. I, sometimes I, I hear things and then I have to go back and say, like, look at the source. Like, mm -hmm. where did it come from? Mm -hmm. Get, you know, another source. So exactly. A couple exactly. of credible exactly. ones. Always, always a good idea. And follow more of those kinds of sites that make you feel good. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, that build you up instead of making you feel hopeless. Yeah, you can empower yourself sure. by choosing those different. You know, we all know how to hit a like button. Yeah. Right. You know. I <laughs> even know how to do that, you guys. You can follow people. I can't. And you know, I can actually unfollow too if I want to. No. I have. I mean, sometimes things make me not feel great, and I'm like, you mm -hmm. know what? I've had enough of that. Yeah. It just doesn't align. Yeah. So. yeah. All right. Well, right let's on. take another break and keep the conversation going when we come back.